Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. This is a little Bible picked up from CBD recently for $7.99. And one reason I did is because it's a 1977 edition of the Rania Valera Bible. And I just wasn't acquainted with the 77 edition. I've studied a lot of the Spanish Bible. I've taken Spanish for two years. I've studied it outside of that, uh, the classroom experience experience of two years and then I've studied it a lot and I'm still terrible at Spanish like terrible my wife she speaks Spanish wonderfully and uh, communicates to people that are Spanish and wins people to God the Spanish language but so but I've studied it because a lot of things like uh, Casadora de Rina when I found out by Gordon Kinder that he pastored a Servation congregation in London he's you know people just say he was a Lutheran theologian well Servation is oneness Michael Servetus so um, of three to four thousand in London in the 1560s and 70s I thought that was fascinating and so you know in America uh, and, and let me just say this, the Spanish Bibles, 1602, you know, uh, Cipriano de uh, Valera, who updated the uh, the famous Bear Bible of 1569. Oh, my goodness, in the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. There is one of the best, finest copies from a Cuban diplomat of the 1569 uh, Rina Bible, Casador de Rina Bible. Uh, for sale. It's called the Bear Bible because it's got a picture of a bear eating honey in the front of it. First edition, it's only $49,500 on eBay. It's just if somebody has that money, get it for yourself. You won't be sorry. That is, it's in one of the finest binding. That is a rare, that'll probably be worth if the Lord tears a million dollars one day. It's a, it's a great thing. So, uh, so Spanish Bibles have always been very accurate. They've always been basically based on the Textus Receptus or something very close to the Textus Receptus from 1569, 1602, 1862, 1865, 1909 edition. A lot of people really like the 1909 edition. I know Pete Ruckman liked the 1865 edition. And then the 1960 edition, then they, of course they came out with like the NIV in Spanish and then they've done like a 2011 revision I think 2009 revision and then the the Rainy Valera Gomez which is like a King James revision Trinitarian Bible Society is working on a 1909 revision um, so I just wasn't acquainted really with the 77 edition and uh, it was only 799 so it's it's really good I mean and it's I mean, I really like the cover. Look at that. I mean, it's just kind of cool. It's put out by Thomas Nelson. And they have three different covers like this. Now, I'll probably either keep this to discuss with people or uh, give this away for evangelism. Here's the ISBN number, by the way. A lot of people want the ISBN numbers on this down at the bottom left. Appreciate Sister Francesca zooming in on that. But it's a thin line Bible, $7.99 in leather soft. It's kind of a hard leather soft though. But you can see, I mean, just brilliant white thick pages, which is a, a sign of real quality. It has a stabilization page in there. Just a, a great feeling Bible. And you know, has quite a bit of ghosting. It's their computerized Bible print. I'll show you what it looks like in there, but for $7.99, how can you beat that? I could see this Bible really appealing to teens. I have tried to do some study before I did this video on the 77 version. And, you know, Bible Gateway has a little blurb on there. Like on their Wikipedia page, there's just nothing I, don't, I didn't see on the, the 77 version. So I'd really want to see what it is. Great large print concordance in here. When I say large print, I'm talking about relative to the size of the Bible. It's not like, you know, a giant print concordance or anything such as that. So the Spanish-speaking peoples have always had just like really accurate uh, versions of the Bible. Now I would still prefer and, and think the King James is more accurate. And here's why. 
is as studious of a scholar as Durinia was and Valera, his amanuensis was in 1602, once, when you get the force of scholarship, the King James translators, 47 of them, bringing to bear, it's not just one person. You had all 47 of them looking at every verse. I know they were split up in committees, but that was part of the process is they all got the work of the other committees. And then being able from the king's dollar to bring in uh, scholarship from around the world, I would just say that it's, it's better scholarship. But God did preserve his work, Spanish-speaking people. So we're going to look up like Acts 2.38 and see what it reads. Now, I have a lot of Spanish-speaking friends of mine that say, oh, you don't, the Spanish Bible is much more accurate than the English Bible. And I'm like, mm, highly doubtful. But, <laughs> but now they're merging them. You know, they're making King James Bibles in Spanish. So it's kind of a moot point, you know. But it's always been very close. Okay, 2.38 and, and forgive my southern accent. My, I've got relatives from Cuba, and uh, you know, I, I'd be like uh, something about Los Hamburguesas, and they'd be like Los Hamburguesas. You know, they just make fun of me, mock me, ridicule me. And then it's made me the man I am today. Okay, so uh, Pedro les dijo, hmm, "Arrepentios y batis cada una de." Vosotros en el nombre de Jesus Cristo para perdón de los pecados y recibres el don el Espíritu Santo. Okay, so I hope I didn't tell somebody just go like jump in a lake or something. I was trying to <laughs> repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. So if they still got any of these left at CBD, great deal. Let's do the old measurements here. As you'll see what I'm talking about. Like far less than an inch thick. It's about eight tenths of an inch thick. Probably about nine point print. Some ghosting, great concordance in the back. Um, only about 8.6 inches tall. And tough little cover there. I mean, that's just, it's good. And uh, let's see here. And look at that, only five and a half inches wide. So you can see, I'll compare it to my King James large print, text only Cambridge. We do a lot of the Bible comparisons like that here. And you can just see that it's, uh, you know, it's smaller all the way around. But when we do the thickness test, you're going to really see a noticeable difference in how thick it is. So people of every language, you know, get a Trinitarian Bible Society, you know, get the Bible in your language or learn English or something. Um, that's, you know, get to heaven. Hallelujah. People say, well, isn't God required to give the Bible in every language? No, he's not required to do anything because he's God. That's like the very definition of God. Um, and he has given the gospel of nature, Romans 1, Psalm 19, Psalm 8 their line goes into all the earth and that type thing but anyhow Thomas Nelson did really well with this Bible and if you can get it on sale highly recommend it God bless you talk with you later in Jesus name